is singular and there can be no other. 2 Corinthians 11, 3 and 4. I fear as somehow, as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he who comes preaches another Jesus whom we've not preached, or preaches a different spirit, or receive a different spirit which you have not received, or a different gospel which you have not accepted, you may well put up with it. That is, you may well put up with it. Somebody could preach another spirit, another gospel, another Jesus, and you go, I, I got it. I'll, I'll put up with it. That is denominationalism. It can be interdenominationalism, but that is another Jesus, another spirit, another gospel. We have to go back and do exactly what we have professed in years gone by if we were seeking. When we were first seeking, we wanted to know the truth, not man's adjunct to the truth. Seeking ways to compromise brings accepting denominationalism and divisive false doctrines. We go, well, wait a minute, you're going to be divisive by being a sect. Well, no, we're going to be the church. Mainstream, follow the popular vote, majority rule. That's what Catholicism, that's how it was invented. And now you have a papist, you got a, a man that can sit in a chair and claim to make up rules. And it's just bizarre that we get to this place. In Christ, we are intolerant of any denomination. We're intolerant of any man that would have a, a hot, or any structure that would be a, a hierarchy that would be larger than Jesus is Lord. And we have the family, we, the world over, and then local groups that get together, come together as a church. Denominational thinking divides our family. So we got to set that aside. Moving from a sect to a denomination is to fellowship, denominationalism. And listen, division is accepted. That is, you say, just the way it is. Remember the revival lesson last week? Here we go. We don't accept division. You know, I've been through a couple of situations, well, one, and situations that, that led to where the family didn't feel like a family. See, that, that's reckon, restoration is revival. Restoration is the revival. And so moving from a denomination to a sect is to reject divisive names and doctrines and be the church. Local 